The challenge for today is to pay off my entire house debt by only selling mushrooms. The only way I can make money is through selling mushrooms. Start a brand new town and we're going to start on October 15th, which is the first day mushrooms appear in town till October 25th. And my challenge is to pay off my entire house debt within those 10 days. And if I don't pay it off by the 25th, I'll try again. It's going to be very interesting to see how this challenge progresses because there are other ways to get mushrooms, which is very important because five mushrooms a day for 10 days is 50 mushrooms and they each sell for 5,000. So that's only a quarter million and you need a, a little under one and a half million bells to pay off your, your entire house debt. Uh, so there will have to be another way to get mushrooms. And uh, we'll get into that when uh, when I get there. But for now, we're gonna start off with a standard day of Animal Crossing, complete chores, find some mushrooms, and then we'll take it from there. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I guess I didn't even think about what I should name my town name. Um, Shrewman. We'll go with Shrewman, I like it. <laughs> so we're starting the day off at 7.30 in the morning, which means mushrooms are not quite out yet. And uh, Nooks is also not open, but you can at least complete chores um, ahead of time. Also, we got Bob. So I can acquire furniture and other items in this challenge, but I cannot sell them. So I'm not allowed to make money off of anything but mushrooms. And chores are done. All right, 7.59, one minute till mushrooms come out. Five mushrooms appear around town starting at 8 a.m. And every 10 minutes, one of them will disappear. Presumably a villager has found one and picked it. Where they spawn is an adjacent spot around a tree. 8 a.m. All right. Where are these mushrooms at? Where are they? There's five of them around town. What have I gotten myself into? Maybe I underestimated this challenge. <laughs> There's a mushroom. All right. One mushroom. <laughs> uh, several hundred more to go. All right, there's a golden spot. That's nice. Now you can have multiple mushrooms spawn in one acre. In fact, you can have multiple mushrooms spawn around the same tree, which is a very interesting strat. If you completely chop down all your trees in town, except for a few, mushrooms will spawn around like whatever trees exist. So I've had five mushrooms spawn around one tree before, and that was very convenient, really. There's one. All right, two. Where have I not looked? There's one in the wishing well acre. Interesting. So they can spawn in this acre. Uh oh, it's 810. One mushroom is officially gone. There is now exactly one mushroom left in town. I don't know where. I don't have high hopes for finding this fourth mushroom. It's not the end of the world. It just means I'm gonna have to search for mushrooms even harder in the next couple days. You see, Nooks will upgrade his shop after you spend or sell a certain amount of bells. And during that day, the shop is closed. So you cannot go in there to upgrade your house again after you pay off your previous debt. So you have you effectively have either nine or eight days to complete this challenge because you're gonna miss a day for Nook's shop being closed. So I need money to uh, have Nook upgrade his shop. So if I can get four mushrooms, I can pay off the first debt. But more importantly, it's so I have more money to, you know, have and spend on stuff in Nook's store. All right, I'm going to throw in the towel. Three mushrooms, not the end of the world. At least I got three. Three is good. Hello, Nook. Hello. I have some mushrooms to sell you. I'm only allowed to make money off mushrooms. 15,000 bells. Good start. Not enough to pay off my first debt, but I am going to go ahead and start buying some things. I'll take this. You may be wondering, why am I buying a shovel? What is a shovel useful for? In fact, I don't need just one shovel. I need two shovels. So I can reorder one from the catalog since I just got one. I'm going to save and quit because I need to get my second shovel. So here we go. Nook says you ordered a shovel. Perfect. This thousand bells, not allowed to keep it. Not allowed to do anything with it. Uh, so I will, in fact, I'm gonna go throw it, put it in the dump. So we got the golden tree growing. I will drop this off, throw it away. Next, I'm gonna go to the next day for mushrooms, October 16th. 
as you can see, the ground has changed. And look, I already found my first mushroom of the day. October 16th, the ground immediately changes from like a green to a brown. There's one. That's a fun one. It's in a little tree patch. Oh, very nice. See, it's that easy. Three mushrooms. Today might be the day I find five mushrooms. All five. No, nope, there's a the fourth mushroom. Never mind. All right, just, you know, just scratch everything I said. I just found all five mushrooms. <laughs> all right, we found all five mushrooms for the day. I'm very happy about that. That last one was pure luck. Very clutch, you could say. Mushrooms. 25,000 bells. Five mushrooms, not bad. Time to pay off the first debt. All right, debt number one has been paid off with mushrooms alone. From here on out, I'm gonna check the mail to see if Nooks is upgrading. Yes, Nooks is closed for the day. He's already upgrading. Perfect. All right, I'll do a quick run around town, look for mushrooms. Ooh, there we go. I now no longer have to go till 9 a.m. to sell mushrooms. Wow, number 10. There we go, golden tree is growing. All right, October 18th, Thursday. So now you may be wondering, how the heck am I gonna complete this challenge in 10 days? I've only paid off my first debt. It's already been, this will be day four. I only have like five days left to go. You'll see. There's one. Oh, there's one, whoa, that was a tricky one. Nice. There's one. Oh, there's one. I see one down there. That was awesome. 14 mushrooms. Yes, it is. 17. Wow. Let's go, golden shovel. I have now found 18 mushrooms. I have now found all five mushrooms for the day. And it is now time to implement phase two of this challenge. Cap'n! Mushroom Island. Here we go. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Annalise. Yes, Candy gives her two mood points. Perfect. All right, so I'm now creating a border where I'm going to bury a bunch of specific items. And now, all this money that I've acquired is all from selling mushrooms. I'm now going to divvy it up into 100 bell bags, like so. And with these 100 bell bags, I am going to bury them. So you know the saying, you gotta spend money to make money. That is precisely what I'm doing with this strat. I am converting the money that I've already acquired from selling mushrooms that I found around town into 100 bell bags, which I will bury on my island and magically transform into mushrooms. Well, it's not guaranteed, but basically how it works is if you have the golden shovel and you make your islander max happiness, if a islander digs up 100 bells, they have a 25% chance to bury a mushroom. They also have a 25% chance to bury a piece of candy. And so this is going to be my method to acquiring more mushrooms. A little bit of prep work to start off with. I wanted to get nooks upgraded. I wanted to get my first debt paid off. That way in the last five days, I am pretty much ready to go because you just can't get quite enough mushrooms in town to pay off all your debts. And there we go. And now it is time to save my island data to the Game Boy. So first things first, knock knock Annalise. Oh, she's adorable actually. Next, here is a piece of candy for you. There we are, enjoy. Annalise, no, don't pick up the golden shovel yet. It's not time. Give me that. <sighs> no, Annalise, you're, you, you're already messing this all up. Thank you, pick, eat that, enjoy. Here's an apple, bon appetit. Finally, she is max happiness. She dropped 100 bells for whatever reason. I'm not allowed to uh, use this for anything, so here, you can pick that up. That is money, that is illegal. That did not affect her mood in any way. She was already max happiness. So now it is time to come over here and start digging stuff up. 
She has replaced it with cherries, so she has planted a fruit tree. That's right, 25% chance for cherries. Specifically cherries, for some random reason. 25% chance for coconuts, 25% chance for candy, and 25% chance for mushrooms. And so far she has buried everything but a mushroom. There's a mushroom! We have gotten a mushroom. I'm not going to increase the mushroom counter until I physically dig it up back uh, when I return to the island. But there we go. We got two mushrooms now already. Perfect. This is going well so far. Wow, three mushrooms in a row. On the bright side, when she plants or when she buries fruit, I don't actually dig up the fruit. I because it's a sapling. So that will that will actually save me some time when I get back to my island. Anyways, there we go. First island trip successful, and we're back in town. So because I got lucky with Annalise, I actually don't need any of this nonsense that I've put outside in Acre F5. I was going to need it as a backup if the Islander I got hated candy. Or she buried something there. It's probably the 100 bells or whatever she gave me. Yeah, I have to, I'm not allowed to use that 100 bells. This is dirty money. This is an illegal 100 bells. That needs to go there. Let's check out the hall. There's a mushroom. Piece of candy. Another mushroom. Another mushroom. A mushroom. There we go, there's another mushroom. All right, I got nine mushrooms from that hall. And I'm actually going to go ahead and expand my border here. All right, very good. Time to replace all this with more money. So it looks like I'll be spending about 5,000 bells to make about 50,000 bells. Pretty good profit, really. I'm gonna take this dirty money and throw it away when I get back into town, because I'm gonna go run by nooks anyways to sell all the mushrooms. All right. I'll let you know if I see a whale on my boat ride back. Good morning, Annalise. It is time for another session of fun. There we go, enjoy. And a coconut. Oh, she keeps dropping dirty money. That's right, here, pick this up. I don't want that. All right, here we go. Let the fun begin. She has only planted fruit so far. Very annoying. <laughs> There's a mushroom. I myself didn't even know Islanders could bury mushrooms until like last month. It's a very specific strat. It's specifically 100 bell bags. A golden shovel is specifically needed for mushrooms. You cannot get mushrooms with a regular shovel with this strat. Nice, a mushroom for the final one. Perfect. And we're back in town. All right, put the dirty money in the dump. And just like that, I have over 100,000 bells. No, this is not the fastest way to get bells in the game. This is actually still a pretty decent way to make money, though. Uh, mushroom. Uh, I don't like that but be <laughs> Seven, okay. I remember there was at least one more over here, I think. Yes, eight. All right, almost getting back to statistically average. Nine, all right, now, now we're talking. This is also a really good strat if you want to save up for candy for Halloween. I'm going to go ahead and dig up that... Ah! All right, I'm going to go deal with that wasp. Hold on. I think I got it. I'm alive. I'm okay. That was that was terrifying. Mayor Mori, thank you very much for the sub. Did you sub to me because I killed a wasp? If so, $5 well earned. Annalise, piece of candy. Ah, yeah, I've got the efficient strat down now. Piece of candy. And then she loves us so much she gives me money, which is dirty money, so you will pick that up and never give it back to me. Thank you. And here we go. Annalise over here. Whew. Yes, a mushroom. I think I legit just got like a 1% chance or less from this session. That's crazy. I either got four or five mushrooms out of that entire session with like 50 buried spots, a little under 50. The very first thing Annalise buried was a mushroom and then it was nothing after that. There's another mushroom. 
four mushrooms. Eat some candy. All right, let the island session fun begin. So far, my best haul has been nine mushrooms. That is very sad. <laughs> so far, this haul has been really pathetic as well. Annalise has buried a single mushroom and like seven pieces of candy. Eight pieces of candy. Those all could have been mushrooms. All those pieces of candy could have been mushrooms. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Statistically, I should be getting like 10 mushrooms per visit. Mushrooms. And now it is time to pay off my second debt. Yes. Nice. Split. <laughs> Two debts down, three to go. It looked like it was like 9 or 10 mushrooms. It looks like a statistical average for this next one when all is said and done. You can get mushrooms using this strat on the island any time of the year. But it's most fun to do it during mushroom season. In my opinion. How many mushrooms? 50! Another mushroom. Yeah, there we go. We got a statistical average, finally. Another round of island. Bring up the hype. Very mushroom. Thank you. Yes. First mushroom. Another mushroom. Let's go, Annalise. We're on pace for getting the, the best island run yet. Yes, three mushrooms. Wow. All right, finally. Finally some good luck. Let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. It could easily... Wow, four mushrooms. Last one. Let's go, Annalise with the clutch mushroom right at the end. Yes, that's 12. The new best island run yet. Get some more money here. Tom Nook is thanking me. I'm gonna go to the next day to pay off my third debt. Nook is remodeling to Nookway now. So I will find mushrooms and go to the next day. And there will be no more remodeling after that. There's a mushroom. There's a mushroom. This feels slower but it's actually quite fast. There's a mushroom. Nice. There it is. I found all five mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms. Yeah, where, where do the islanders get all these mushrooms from? Growing them in their basements? That makes sense. I got four more days to pay off three debts. All right, let's go find some more mushrooms. There we go. There's another mushroom. Ooh, Gracie. For Gracie, the idea is to mash with two thumbs. This is a strat. And there we go. It's good enough. What do we get? Great. There's a mushroom. Emerald. Could have grabbed it this whole time, but chose not to. What a nice frog she is. I knew it! I knew there was a mushroom here! What a find. That was a really cool place for a mushroom, because one, it was it was well hidden. Two, it was behind Nookway. And three, I planted those trees. Did I plant that tree? I Yeah, I, I planted one of the trees. It might have been from the tree that I planted. Hello, Nook. I do like my new basement. There we go. Some more bells from mushrooms. And I can immediately pay off my third debt. And there we go. Third debt has been paid off. Three hours and 22 minutes for the third debt. Why are you such a high roller? Oh, you know, Nook. I got lots of mushrooms to sell. It's just how I do. Speaking of which, got a few more coming your way. And we're back on the island. There are 12 mushrooms that I'm gonna dig up. There's one of them now. Yeah, we all these mushrooms. 12 mushrooms. And here we go. And there we go. I'm looking for at least 10 mushrooms, Annalise. Please. There's a mushroom. There we go, Annalise. There we go. Six mushrooms. Yes, 10. Three in a row. And we still got like 10 more spots to dig up. All right, 12. There's a mushroom. Could have been 13 mushrooms. Look at all these mushrooms. All right. I am all mushroomed out. Oh yeah, that's right, Debraxman. I'll uh, I'll do that right now. Triangle grass. Does it change? 
It does! Well, look at that. That is fascinating. There's Annalise. Good morning, Annalise. Congratulations. You are relevant today. You have shown me something I did not know existed. <laughs> There's a mushroom. There's a mushroom. There's another mushroom. Another mushroom. Another mushroom. Another mushroom. There's 100. Let's go. 100 mushrooms. Let me dig up the last couple things. And then uh, replant all the 100 bells. What? I just discovered something today. Look at that. <laughs> There's ants on the buried candy. <laughs> I'm also relevant today. That's amazing. <laughs> it, the can't the ants go away. What? I've never seen that either. <laughs> 101 mushrooms. The Braxman being relevant with the grass changing. Me finding an accidental glitch with ants over a buried piece of candy. I'll say hi to Annalise. Oh, gee, hi, morning. <laughs> Hello, Annalise. All right, see ya. 200 to go. Game plan is to extend this boundary. So that tree's going away. Now the question is, how far should I extend the boundary? This boundary looks good. We are getting serious now with this challenge. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's speed up this process. Time to get efficient. That's a mushroom. All right, mushroom production has officially been ramped up by 10% efficiency. Excellent. Yes. I'm gonna have so many mushrooms, I'll have to store them in letters. Oh wait, I did get 10 mushrooms. This was a pretty good haul, I would say. Let's see how many mushrooms I end up getting. It would not there happens to be a... There's a lot of mushrooms. And mushrooms. Mushroom. So there's a mushroom. That's a lot of mushrooms. I have been able to replicate the buried candy ant glitch. You need one piece of candy on the ground and a buried piece of candy. And that is what causes the ants to spawn on the buried candy. And then bugs don't spawn immediately, so then reload the acre. And there we go. Yeah, very obscure glitch. You're probably not gonna just randomly encounter that. they reach for furniture. Annalise has turned this around again and the mushroom game is back on. Yes. Look at all these mushrooms. Oh, look at that. I actually, it was a little closer than I thought it was going to be. There we go. And fourth dead. One to go. The final day. Did I just find one? Wow, what a find. What a find. Wow, there's another one. Look at that, 150. Yes. There we go. Aha, that's so cool. Look at this one. A mushroom by the golden tree. That's awesome. There should have been golden mushrooms that only spawn around golden trees. Oh, and there we are. All five mushrooms. Easy five mushroom find. Also, look at that house. That is a fully upgraded house. Now, to pay off the final debt. To Mushroom Island, once again. So you say you want a longer montage of finding mushrooms. Okay, here we go. She did. Two hundred! And 300, let's go. Yes. And there we go, the final mushroom. 
Nook, I have a few more mushrooms for you. Look at that, that's a lot of bells. Here we go. Finally, 309 mushrooms later. Let's do this. <laughs> With zero bells left for my debt and zero bells remaining in my inventory, I have perfectly paid off my final debt and have completed this challenge in three, two, one, time. Let's go. 10 hours and 47 minutes and 12 seconds. I did it. I have paid off my entire house debt of 1.4 some million bells by only making money selling mushrooms. Oh, Nook, guess what I did? I have paid off my debt, Nook. There is the golden statue with the shrewman face <laughs> with one day to spare if you include the day to get the golden statue and a final victory lap, find some mushrooms around town for fun. There's already a mushroom right there. Double mushrooms? The final mushroom, I found all five on my victory lap. Excellent. Let's finish off this challenge by designing a mushroom pattern, heading to the island and putting up our mushroom flag. I don't have any bells. <laughs> challenge is over, right? I can go get more money. <laughs> Wait, I'm a genius. I know what to do. Who would have thought? This would have come in clutch. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's not quite the same controls, but it's very close. There we go. And finally... Boom. Final touches. There we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Upload the design. Yes. And we'll finish the challenge here just like this. Yum. And that's that. I will see you all in the next video and the next challenge. And thanks for watching.